it's gonna be hot. I hate the hot weather. I hate it so hot that, you know, that you're standing in your sweat. That's how hot it is. But it's summertime and we're going crabbing. Cross our fingers at this time, this time we get more than two dozen of crabs. We only got a little over two dozen crabs the last time and we're going to a whole different spot. Um, one of the good spots that we usually, we're gonna be around the corner from it, but we're going, we're heading there right now with, oh. Uh, the troublemakers. The trouble, nah, they're not troublemakers. They've been great on the boat. All right, we are here at our fourth location of the year already where we, we have not seen them. We're gonna check this 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 area out. Um, as you can see, we're more in an open bay, um, but we're still gonna be in about five foot. We're gonna keep it shallow. We're gonna lay 15 traps, let them sit a little bit. We're gonna pull them and see if we see any life. If not, I'm gonna keep going around to the other side of, I'm gonna go around to the other side and see there. That's more of a, the flow um, this is just like a creek off of the main the main thoroughfare out here uh, we're going to see how that works and we'll let you know after we set the traps unless you really want to see us throw the traps over again the little helpers the little helpers now what what i we normally do is that i'll put a point out um i'm following i'm following like a five foot four foot we're going to go kind of shallow but I'm gonna to try to find a, a point on the eye on the land and then I'm gonna drive straight to it. That way our 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 traps are straight. And uh, we're gonna wait now because now they're getting <laughs> they're getting curious. We're letting them free range all around the boat. We're gonna put the bimini top up because we got an aluminum boat and this aluminum will get really, really hot. And I don't want them to get really hot on their paws. So as soon as we set these traps out and let them sit, we're gonna put the bimini top up. That'll give us some shade. The sun is we we went out here pretty late. It's freaking quarter to 10 so we were in no rush this morning to come out we got all day 15, 15 traps not one crab it's weird we were in, we were in five foot and six foot so we we just did them we're picking them up we're not playing around i'm going to go around to a little bit i'm going to go around the corner and go to another spot and then we'll we'll see how that one goes so we're picking them up and we did see life we saw one little small baby crab yeah we still got three more to pick up but every one we've done picked up almost 30 traps, 30 times, and we caught one little tiny baby crab. So like I said, we're gonna go around the corner in the main flow of the, I would say channel, but get out of the creek and see if this works. I think we should be further up in the creek, but, cause I think Selene, but all the rain we've had, we've had about three inches of rain the other night and some rain, maybe that might help with the salinity a little bit. But we'll see. Yeah, and we got the pups. They're just walking around. We're letting them do whatever they want. Yeah. It is pretty hot today, but we got the bimini top up. It's really nice under this bimini top. A little lot of you. It's a little breeze. A little bit of a breeze. Come on. Nope. All right. One tiny small crab out of 30 traps. So, all right. We're going around the corner. We'll reset when we start pulling them. We'll let them Look at it. It is like a sheet of glass today. Awesome. Now we just eat crabs. It's out. hot out, but man, it's really pretty out today. Beautiful. It's really pretty. Look at that. Ain't she beautiful? Water, 
Oh, that's fast. Woohoo! First of the season. First of the season. I mean, today. First today. Not too bad. Not too bad. There you go. All right, 50 signs of light. That's only the third trap. That's pretty good. Yeah. We'll get a couple for, for Ron. Get a half a bushel today, be nice. Go. Yep. There we go. That's another white trail, it looks like. I mean, should have already shed, right? Oh, nah, I think it was a full moon. Oh, no. Body. All right. We did that run, and we only got three. We got two quick ones, and then nothing else to the very last trap of the run. We caught one. We're going to try this one more time. We're going to let them sit a little bit, and uh, just let them sit there a little bit, get that chicken neck juice all yummy out there. All right. No, no, no. Come on. It is hot out here. I don't like. Don't think balls. we don't like leaving the dogs in the cage for five, six hours. Um, but I don't know. It's just her. Me, I would just take them in there. They got to get used to it. But it's hot out. But they're okay. We got a little bit of a breeze. We got the Benami top up. Um, but we're gonna run them one more time, and we're gonna check because that was in five foot, and the, the ones that we started out with were around five foot. So if we're catching them only in around five foot, we're gonna move all the other traps and stick them in that depth, that to six foot. That's a nice one. I gotta put my other, I, I gotta hold it. Dude, that's jelly shit. You gotta, so you gotta watch swinging it up. Yeah, I know. Come on, baby. We got two on this run so far. We're sorry we're not filming. I gotta get my other camera. This one's about dead. And I'll explain to you what I got in Wrong, tripping over him. Yes. After this run, we'll do it. All right, come on, baby. Come on. We'll pull another one. That last one we got was a nice one. My battery is just about to die, so that's why I turned it off and we didn't check. But we caught. Are you sure we caught six? Five. We caught five nice crabs. I, I think it was six, but I think we caught five on that run. And that's pretty good. And these actually look big and a lot harder than the other ones. The first couple ones look kind of like, yeah. um, but I have to switch. This GoPro is about to die. Now, usually I don't change any batteries. And my refuel for my GoPro 7, this is my GoPro 7 I'm using. I got one for my GoPro 10. I'm getting ready to pull that out. And that's what I'm going to be filming with. I'm going to switch batteries in this one, but I'm going to leave a link in it. You need to get the refuel. If you got a GoPro 7, uh, GoPro 7, they have them, and the 9, 10, and 11, they have them. But what I'm going to show you is, all right, so what I'm going to show you is this right here. This is a charger that I have all the time, and this right here will charge your 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, all the way up to 11 GoPro batteries. This thing right here, if you open it up, here, hold this, hold this for me. Oh, See these little, these little black things there? That's what gets your smaller batteries in. But your GoPro 9 and 10 and 11 will just slip right in there. Or if you need your phone charged, you can hook right in the back of here and you can charge your phone. You can charge anything you need. This is the charging port. And this right here, you can charge any phone, another GoPro. You can change, charge anything out of here. And like I said, I got three batteries plus the one that's in here. Um, but usually I don't even, I have this with me, but I hardly ever use it because of my refuels. Um, let me show you my refuel real quick. This is my GoPro 10 and it has the refuel on it. And I usually, I'm telling you, I don't have to, I haven't have to switch batteries. Now I don't film consistently all the time, but each run is at least anywhere from eight to 10 minutes. And I'll do at least six to eight runs and I never have to change a battery in these. So to refuel, if you've got a seven or a nine, 10, 11, you can get these refuels and they will, you can really, really film a long time without having to charge a battery. The difference with this refuel here is that you gotta leave the battery in it for some reason because it says it isn't enough power and I think there's a way around that. I have to look. But in my GoPro 7, in the GoPro 7 there, you can take the battery out so it don't overheat because it's like 80 some degrees out 90 degrees out and i don't have to um have that battery in there for this to, for my refuel to charge it i do leave it in there you can turn the battery off 
Um, you can just let that run with the battery and then if it needs charge, you can just turn it on and it will charge. So that's really good. So all the links to what I have in here are in a description. So if you would need, need a battery charger or something, go over there and look, Brackish Life. Go to Brackish Life, man. They got some cool, cool apparel. You know, my puppies are five months old and we've been bringing them out here since they've been three months old and they have been we don't have we know they can swim i've had them in the pool at home so we know they can swim they naturally swim but we're out here the only thing i'm worried about is we have jellyfish out here and i think the jellyfish if they get stung i think it can really get they can have a bad reaction to it so we don't want them jumping in um, but they've been walking around the boat they've been laying down it is hot as hell out um, but we got the bimini top as you can see they're in the shade um, so it's been pretty good um, they, I just can't say how good my two dogs have been. My wow, next one, dog. the next video, we're going to have our 180 pound, our 180 Dude, pound St. Bernard's going to be with us. Mm -mm. The only bad thing is we got to wait. We're going to wait to fall. Um, she can get in the water, but we don't want her because even though she's shaved, <laughs> even though she's kind of, her hair is really low, she still gets really hot. So, and we don't want her to get sunburned either with her hair being as short as it is. Mm -hmm. But we're going to bring her out. That should be fun. She's never been on a boat. We've, not, we've never taken her on a boat because, I don't know, most of the time it's really hot out and we don't like to take her on a boat when it's real hot. So that, so that one was three crabs on that run. One was small and one was a female, but we did get one. So we're, like I said, it's three to four run. We got that three. Um, we, we're hoping it picked up. The tide should be moving, moving really good. Um, but it's my turn to start picking up. I'm going to pick oh, this next run up. The old lady's gonna have to drive. God damn it. I usually do better picking them, catching crabs. What? Only, out only two keepers, only two, I'm not even taping up there. Only two keepers on the last one, but I caught about six or seven crabs, but they were all little, real little. So I was only two that run, and you know, we're like I said, we, we, won't, we usually won't stick out here too long. If, we, if we're averaging four to six crabs a run, that's, that kind of sucks, but it's better. You know, that's a good steady thing, but the last two, and the tide's still rolling out. So, I don't know, we'll see. Crabbing has not been, all the crabs they say are out here in this bay. Oh, I know, it's funny. Every year they say, every year they say, we are low on crabs. The, 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 the survey says we are hurting for crabs. We have a wonderful year. And every time, every year they've said that we got all these crabs out here, we're struggling to get them. In the same spots we've always caught them. We've been to four different four different spots. All right, hold on, I got some waves coming too, so be careful. We've been to four different spots. And this is the best, this is about the same we've seen at, at one of the other spots, our other spot we went to. We only caught a little over two dozen of crabs. Now it's only 1230, but we're not gonna stay out here too long if we're only getting one or two. But we still got plenty. We got a little over a dozen of crabs, and that's all we need. But we, we're, 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 we're hurting on saved crab meat. Mm -hmm. She hasn't really been able to pick any. Okay. Been eating them. Been eating them. <laughs> if you ever wanted to see a face, like she just opened up a turd biscuit for Christmas. <laughs> that's all right. <laughs> We're just forgetting about them now. <laughs> she pulls the trap up, and just, and just as it gets to the top uh, of the water, a crab's right at the top jumbo. of it. Jumbo. Jumbo crab and just flies right out of it. And she, I think she was going to jump in for it, but it, it was too fast. And she's like, I can't believe it. Awful. Because that's the only one we've seen so far this run. Oh my God. I can't get over it. I told you, man. Them, them, them suckers are and fast. They pull it up fast. Yeah, I told you, man. Say is that jumbo was probably late as hell. Do you remember which which one that was back then? Oh. I guess that then we missed one. There's crab in there. No, there's not. Is that the same one that had that thing on it? Yeah. Huh. Damn. I never seen one that big over here. Yeah, they've been, we've got some big ones over Not here. Not that big, dude. No, we, we've we gotten some enormous. big ones. It was enormous. I think you're just. That was Bubba. <laughs> that might have been Bubba. It might have been Bubba. There's something just fucking easy with the effing words. Well, something just, just felt like it was just 
grabbing onto my thing. Uber it. That's gonna bug me all day. We got we need to get them. <laughs> we'll have to stay out here till we get them. <laughs> You alright today? You're like, you're getting stung by jellyfish. Yeah, see, you're gonna move that. Here it goes. Suck here it, it up. Goes. Suck it up. Salt, Suck it up, Buttercup. Salt water over here, right? Yeah. Woo. 18 crabs. We went from averaging four to two crabs a run out of 29 traps. Thought we were getting ready to lose one. I wasn't videoing, man. We got hooked onto a big old log. Yeah. I finally got it out. Okay. The, out. Hey, but the video on the screen will show you how I stuffed some rockfish with the crab meat that we got. And I don't know what the problem is, but we were doing four run and then the last two runs, we didn't catch any. So we'll check you later. We appreciate you stopping by. And if you feel like being a member, go ahead and join and if I get, get enough subscribers, hey man, I mean, get enough members, I'll start making some extra content.